Welcome, I'm Misty Bonich here, an assistant professor in the Department of Kinesiology and Sport. In this video, we will look at how to organize fitness testing and the type of test environment you will want to create so participants have a positive experience. For each topic, we will follow the American College of Sports Medicine's guidelines. Fitness assessment is used to identify a participant's current level of fitness and create a baseline to determine training needs and goals. Participants preparing for a fitness assessment often don't feel comfortable. They may be worried that they will somehow physically fail. They may remember an embarrassing incident when they were in gym class in school. They may feel self-conscious about their body or about having others see them as they take the assessment. It's important for the instructor to create a professional welcoming environment for fitness assessments. This includes being professionally dressed and considering how to best utilize the layout of the facility space. The instructor helps to set the tone and should help participants feel comfortable and confident as soon as they enter the facility. For example, an instructor would not want to meet participants at the door of the fitness center with assessment equipment in hand. Consider the entry and layout of the entire space. A welcoming reception area is critical as each individual will pass through the space and create their first impression. Allow an area with room for you to possibly sit down with your participant and have a brief conversation about their goals. What type of information do they hope to gain from the assessment? What concerns might they have? In any type of facility, you will want to create zones that allow for some privacy. For example, do not ask a participant to discuss personal information near other participants or perform fitness assessment in high traffic areas. If there are mirrors in the fitness center, explain to the participant how the mirrors will be used to assess form versus self-critique. For example, at times, the participant will be placed away from the mirrors completely. And at other times, the mirrors can help the instructor and the participant achieve proper form. As you begin the assessment, it is important for the instructor to be mindful about maintaining appropriate personal space. The goal is always to be professional and help participants feel as comfortable as possible. How and when you face or touch the participant is critical. There are times when you will want to stand to the side of the participant and other times when you may want to coach or mirror them through various movements. For example, when taking a waist measurement, stand to the side of the person to take the measurement versus facing them. Instructors must be well versed in the proper guidelines and procedures when conducting fitness assessment. It is okay to use reference materials. However, the instructor's attention should be on the participant. All equipment needed should be in place and or readily available when the participant arrives. The instructor should know how to accurately conduct each assessment and how to interpret results. The types of assessment used that day will be determined prior to the session or during your initial discussion. It is important that the instructor understand proper sequencing of assessment to gain accurate and valid results. However, it is okay to omit a specific assessment and or stop the assessment early. Focus on the participant and their personal goals, their comfort level, and their physical ability to perform movements correctly. So in review, the instructor needs to create an environment that is welcoming, that is conducive to conducting an accurate assessment, and that follows proper protocols. As instructors, we want to always put the participant first and maintain the highest level of professionalism. Assessment is a valuable tool in helping participants meet their goals when measured accurately. However, we want participants to relax during assessment and understand that the ultimate goal is to achieve lifelong fitness. To learn more, look for our other videos on physical fitness instruction.